I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaral natin ngayon. Continuation ito ng equation of a line na sa part 3 na tayo. So, tayo ay nasa 2 points na. So, paano ba tayo gumawa ng equation of a line given 2 points? Calculate the slope of the 2 points. So, remember the formula of the slope. M equals y squared minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Then after finding the slope, use one of the points and the slope to substitute into the points slope formula. So, ito yung ating last topic. So, we're ng ating points slope formula ay y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Or, we can use the two points formula y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Wherein, ang nadagdag lang dito sa ating formula ay yung m. Nilagay natin talaga yung formula ng slope since we don't have a given slope. So, take note, kailangan lang maging careful sa pagsasubstitute ng mga values ng ating given coordinates or ordered pairs. Okay, so let's have the first example. So write the equation of the line that goes through the points 3, 2, and 5, 4. Again, we need to find the standard form of the equation of the line that passes through the points 3, 2, and 5, 4. Your x sub 1 and y sub 1 is 3, 2. And then your x sub 2, y sub 2 is 5 and 4. So we are going to use the two-point formula. First, substitute all the given. So you have y minus your y sub 1 is 2 equals your y sub 2 is 4 minus 2 all over 5, your x sub 2 minus your x sub 1 is 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Again, you just substitute all the given. Be careful in substituting all the values. If it is positive or negative. Then after substituting all the values, we need to simplify the slope first. That is, 4 minus 2 over 5 minus 3. 4 minus 2 equals 2 and 5 minus 3 equals 2. So 2 divides 2 equals to 1. So therefore, it will become y minus 2 equals to x minus 3 since our slope is 1. Then after that, get the additive inverse of x and negative 2. So since ililipat natin yung x sa may left side, so it will become negative x. While negative 2 ililipat natin sa kabilang side, it will become positive 2. So therefore, negative x plus y equals negative 3 plus 2. Then, negative x plus y equals to negative 3 plus 2. That is negative 1. So that is negative x plus y equals to negative 1. Since negative yung ating unahan, the last step would be change all the signs. So therefore, the equation of the line is x minus y equals to positive 1. So let's have example 2. So write the equation of the line that goes through the points 1, negative 3, and 6, 8. 
Again, your x sub 1 and y sub 1 is 1 and negative 3. And your x sub 2, y sub 2 is 6, 8. Again, we're going to use the two-point formula. First step, substitute all the given. Again, be careful in substituting all the given. So you have y minus your y sub 1 is negative 3. So therefore, it is y minus negative 3 equals y sub 2 is 8 minus negative 3 all over your x sub 2 is 6 minus x sub 1 is 1 times the quantity x minus 1. Again, you need to substitute all the given. Then after that, we need to simplify the slope. That is 8 plus 3. So it will become positive since negative times negative is positive. Over 6 minus 1. So 8 plus 3 is 11. Over 6 minus 1 is 5. So that will be our slope since 11 pif is in reduced form already. And then we need to distribute and multiply. So yung 11 pif, we need to distribute and multiply to x minus 1. So that is y plus 3 equals 11 pif times x is 11 pif x. 11 pif times negative 1 is 11 pifs. So we just distribute 11 pif to x minus 1. Since meron tayong denominator, to simplify, we need to multiply by the LCD and that is 5. Multiply each term by the LCD. So 5 times 1 is 5y. 5 times 3 is 15. Again, 5 times y is 5y. 5 times 3 is 15. Next, equals 11 pif x. So we can cancel 5. So matitira ay 11x minus 5 times 11 pif. So that is, cancel din yung 5. Ang matitira ay negative 11. Then, get the additive inverse of 11x and 15. So, ililipat natin yung 11x sa unahan. It will become negative 11x. And then, yung 15 ililipat. So, it will become negative 15. So, negative 11x plus 5y equals to negative 11 minus 15. So, negative 11x plus 5y. So, negative 11 minus 15. You just add and copy the sign. 11 plus 15 is 26. So, it will become negative 26. So, last step would be change all the signs. So, it will become 11x minus 5y equals 26. And that will be the equation of the light. So, for our last example, so, nagbigay ako ng fraction. So, what would be the equation of the line that goes through the points 2, negative 6, and 7, and 1 half? Again, 2, negative 6 will be our x sub 1, y sub 1, while 7 and 1 half would be our x sub 2, y sub 2. Again, substitute all the given. So, y minus negative 6 equals to 1 half minus negative 6 all over 7 minus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Then, we need to simplify the slope. So, medyo mahaba since we have fractions. So, do muna tayo sa numerator. So, 1 half, it will become plus 6 because negative times negative is positive. So, when we add uh, a whole number to a fraction, we just get the denominator or the LCD rather. So, that is 2. Kopyahin ng 1 plus 2 times 6 is 12. So, 1 plus 12 is 13 halves. Over 7 minus 2 is 5. And then we need to get the reciprocal of 5. So that is 1 pif. And then our slope is 13 tenths. Then after that, you need to distribute and multiply. So 13 tenths times x is 13 tenths x minus. We can cancel 2 and 10. Okay, so that will become... 13 pif. Again, 13 tenths times negative 2 is negative 13 pips. So, we need to multiply by the LCD to simplify. So, 10 and 5, what is the LCD? 
Okay, the LCD is 10. So 10 times Y is 10Y. 10, 10 times 6 is 60. Again, 10 times Y is 10Y. 10, 10 times 6 is 60. And then equals, we can cancel 10. That will become 13X minus, so we can cancel 10 and 5. So it will become 2 times negative 13. It will become negative 26. Get the additive inverse of 13x and 60. Ililipat si 13x sa unahan. It will become negative 13x plus 10y equals to negative 26 minus 60. Negative 13x plus 10y equals... You just add 26 plus 60 and then copy the sign. That is negative 86. And the last step would be change all the sign. Therefore, our final answer is 13x minus 10y equals to 86. So that concludes our discussion. So I hope na nagets nyo. So it's a matter of practice. No, it's a matter of practice. And again, katulad na sinasabi ko, please. Be careful in substituting all the values. Kasi that is domino effect. Kapag simula mali na, mali na hanggang dulo. So for your activity, you write the equation of a line passing through the two given points. So I will be giving you three items to answer. So pwede nyo muna ulit i-pause yung video and then please get pen and paper and then try to answer. Then later on, i -re reveal din natin yung tamang Sagot. So, enjoy answering your activity. So here are our answers. For number 1, you have x plus 2y equals 1. For number 2, 3x plus 5y equals to negative 24. For number 3, 3x minus 70. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell. See you on my next video.